This is the M-Cube laser measuring device. Actually, it's much more than that. It's also a roller measuring device, a bilateral laser and level, and a floor planner. And its modular design means it's suitable for everyone, from homeowners and DIY enthusiasts to builders, architects, and designers. But is it any better than a tape measure? Well, let's find out. The modern tape measure was invented in 1829 by a man called James Chesterman, a British metal worker who came up with a use for the offcuts of flat metal that were used to make the hoops in women's dresses. I wonder if they'll ever come back into fashion. I guess not. Commuting on the London Underground would be a bit of a problem. Anyway, having got his patent, Mr. Chesterman started selling his tape measures in the United States for £300 in today's money. Fast forward nearly 200 years, and of course we're still using tape measures, but they're still a bit of a pain when you're measuring something longer than your outstretched hands and you don't have someone around to hold the other end. Then, in 1993, Leica introduced the first handheld laser measure, which was about the size of a brick and weighed the same too. Now, there are lots of laser measuring devices on the market. So what's so special about this one? Well, I think that as far as laser measuring devices go, it's quite a cool dinky little thing. It fits nicely in the palm of your hand, and it's got a bright touch screen on the front, which makes it very easy to operate. The basic unit here costs £69 or $75, which if you look on Amazon amongst the sea of laser measuring devices, puts it firmly in the mid-range. And for that, it can do a lot of things. Point it at anything within a range of 164 feet or 50 metres and it'll measure the distance immediately. Look, if I pointed up my back passage, or rather the corridor to my kitchen, it tells me straight away that the distance is 22.193 metres, 873.74 inches, 72 foot 9 inches and 25 30 seconds, or in other money, 22,195 millimetres. And if I'd done that with a tape measure, it would have taken me at least 10 minutes. Still, tape measures are better for measuring smaller objects like parcels, because there's nothing to bounce the laser off, except perhaps your hand. But this thing can do so much more. First, it allows you to calculate the surface area of things incredibly quickly. So for example, if I wanted to measure the surface area of this wall, first of all, I would measure the height, and then the width, and bingo! That's telling me that that wall is 6.678 metres squared. And it's got a continuous area measuring tool as well. So you can measure one wall and then a succession of other walls to come up with the total surface area of the whole room, which is useful if you're estimating, for example, how much paint you'll need. And this thing will also be great for sizing up a room for carpet. Next, you've got Pythagorean measuring features, which are well above my pay grade. But the general idea is that if you know the length of two sides of a triangle, you can calculate the third. So I thought it might be a useful way to measure the height of a tree. Not that I have a particularly regular need to know the heights of trees. Anyway, it turns out that it's impossible to see where you're pointing the laser on a tree, so that doesn't work. But I guess it could be useful if you needed to know the height of the outside wall of a two-storey building. Although again, that might be something of a niche activity. Talking of using this thing outdoors, it can be difficult to see where you're pointing the laser beyond the distance of about 10 to 20 meters, depending on the color of the surface you're pointing it at and whether or not it's a cloudy day. Back indoors though, this thing is also a laser level. If you hold it this way, it'll show you just one axis, so you can use it to level a picture, whereas if you put it that way, it'll show you two, so you can see whether or not your desk is level, if that's something you ever need to do. Now, one problem I had with this level feature is that it does seem very sensitive and not always accurate. If you put it on the top of a picture, it 
just about impossible to get it dead level or zero degrees. It's always 0.2 of a degree off one way or 0.4 the other. And if you're a bit OCD like me, a picture that's 0.4 of a degree off level is going to cause you a whole world of pain. On top of that, when I checked it against a normal spirit level, I quite often found that when I got the M-cube as close to zero degrees as damn it, the bubble was quite a way out. So what else? Well, the M-cube here runs off a built-in rechargeable battery, which you recharge through this USB-C port on the bottom. The maker says a full charge is good for three months sitting in a drawer on standby, 12 hours of continuous use, and 14 days worth of regular use, which equates to nearly an hour a day of solid measuring. So that's the basic module, but the interesting thing about the M-Cube here is that there are another three modules that can be bought individually or together, in which case you get this rather fine Assassin's Briefcase, which contains three more modules. The first module worth looking at is the bilateral laser module, which for about another £70 adds a second laser. And I tell you what, I do love the way they made these modules attached to each other with a magnet and a clip. Look at this! They just clamp together with the most satisfying clack! Oh! That's fantastic. I'm never going to get bored of that. And it doesn't matter if they're not lined up properly. They just come together. Actually, this thing sort of doubles as a stress relief toy. Anyway, with two lasers, you can measure a distance without being at one end. For example, normally if I was going to measure the height of this room, I'd need to put this thing on the floor and take the measurement that way. But with the bilateral laser, all I have to do is hold it, well, anyway, really, there will do, take the measurement, and that's 2.294. Same goes for walls. No need to hold the M-cube at one end of the wall. You can place it anywhere. There we go, 2.964. It also increases the maximum distance you can measure to 328 feet or 100 meters. Although outdoors, you're still going to have that problem seeing where it's pointing beyond about 20 meters. The bilateral laser also includes a laser line, which is, of course, useful for making sure that you're putting things like pictures at the same height. And it's also got a traditional bubble-based level in case you're struggling with a digital one. I guess if I was an estate agent or an architect or an interior designer constantly having to stoop to measure things, I'd have chewed your arm off for one of these things with a bilateral laser module. But at home, well, I think my best measuring days are probably behind me now. So I think it would kind of be overkill. Laser measures can, of course, only measure straight lines. And as I said, they're not ideal for measuring the outside edges of things like parcels. So for that, and all the times you need to measure curvy things, there's the roller laser module. There we go. This measures stuff using a roller wheel on the front. You press this button on the side, which turns on a laser marker, follow the curve, and then press the button again to take the reading. Now, I must say, I do still prefer a tape measure or a ruler for measuring straight lines. I just find this is a little bit more of a faff lining up the laser guides. And anyway, I think the number of times I've ever needed to measure something curved, other than my waist, is, um, well, never. But maybe if you're a dressmaker or a designer. So lastly, there's the floor planner module, which as the name suggests, allows you to make a floor plan very quickly. I'll show you. So let's see how quickly I can get a floor plan of this room using the M-Cube, and I'm going to do it against the clock here. So on the count of three, two, one, and we're off. And first corner over here. And there we have it, a perfect floor plan ready to download to my computer. And that has taken 
Uh, let me just have a quick go back to the clock and well, under three minutes. Lastly, the full kit comes with a tripod to help with setting up your leveling line or to make your Pythagorean measuring that much more accurate. Perhaps not something I'm going to have an everyday need for, but actually it would also make a very handy spare tripod for some of my filming gear. So there we have it. I think for most people, including homeowners, carpet fitters, plumbers and electricians, the basic M-cube here is going to more than meet your measuring needs. If you're a dressmaker or someone who measures curvy stuff, then this roller measure will be the ideal add-on for you. But if you're an estate agent, an architect or an interior designer, you probably need to go the full jackal and get the assassin's kit with the floor planner. Oh, and if it's just a ruler you're after, do watch my review of the Neo ruler here from the same company. It is without doubt the cleverest way to measure a scale drawing. Till the next time, I've been Arlo Guthrie. Bye-bye.